as you can probably tell, I'm not at home at the moment. <laughs> However, I really wanted to show you um, these Shopkins that I found in Sainsbury's. Um, so I love watching... <laughs> So I previously have seen people opening these Shopkins. Um, I recently saw Graveyard Girl opening these Halloween themed ones. They're all kind of like candy figures. And I really wanted some. I looked them up on eBay and they were so expensive. And then when I was in Sainsbury's today, I noticed that not only did they have loads more Halloween decorations, but they also had a little box of these. Now they only had one box and there was only three left. So they're definitely in high demand. So in the box that these are going to cost me £2.50 each, but they actually only cost £2. So everything I'm showing you today will cost £6 altogether. There's two Shopkins in each of these pots, so there's six little figurines altogether. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's got a plastic wrap around the outside and a little papery thing that says Shopkins. And it's meant to be like a little pumpkin underneath, which I'm so excited about because I'm sure I'll be using the actual pumpkin itself for some kind of craft. I'm not really sure what the best way to open these are. People always make it look so easy when they're opening these. Um, but they're a little bit fiddly. So once it's out of the wrapper, this is what it looks like. It has some really cute, like, detailed leaves at the top, and then it's just kind of an orangey pumpkin. It's a nice size, so you could probably fit a few things in there, maybe, like, pins um, or little crafty bits. So it just opens up, and then inside you've got your two blind bags. So let's see which ones. Now with normal Shopkins, I know that you get a chart so you can see um, what exactly you're getting, but I think with these ones you kind of have to guess. So this one, it seems to be some kind of like twirly something. It kind of reminds me a bit of like a licorice twirl. It does have a little black bit at the bottom. Her eyes are a little bit wonky. Um, so I think that's meant to be part of her character, but she's definitely some kind of like long, I'd say she's some kind of like licorice sweet. As you can see, she's very detailed for her size. They are very small figurines and they're kind of made out of like of a sort of slightly bendy plastic. So the second one in this pumpkin, Oh, this is so cute. I saw this one on Graveyard Girls video and I was like, yes, this is so cute. It's meant to be like a candy apple. She is so detailed. She's got even like dripping where like the toffee is kind of like dripping down. She's got a little green stick um, and a little sort of winky face. And she does have a few little stars on her forehead. She does have little feet and arms. And this one's kind of more of a solid color compared to the previous one that we got. So far, this one is my favourite just because of the colours. I feel like it's a very Halloween-y colour. Um, maybe if the stick wasn't quite so long, it would look even more like a pumpkin. So now we're on to the second little pumpkin box. Again, this box is exactly the same. So this first one Oh cute. So this one is like a kind of it says pop on it. So I guess this could like be a popcorn bag. But also I used to have these kind of sweets um when I was younger, especially when I was on like guide camp, which were like called pop rocks or something like that. And they were kind of like this fizzy popping candy that you used to put in your mouth and it would just make your brain feel like mashed potato. 
Again, this Shopkin, again, this Shopkin is really, really detailed. Um, you've got the writing and the tiny, tiny little stars um, and face. And also there's even like little lines on the bag. The bag itself is like a pink color. There's even stars and things on the back and it's kind of on like a slant almost. So it almost looks like it's like popping out. I think that this would look really cool in like a black and orange sort of color, but I quite like the pink one and I feel like it goes quite nicely with this little guy. So far, all the ones that I've got as well, their eyes and their faces have been quite low down. I'm not sure if this is like a common thing within like Shopkins. I think that it's like a nice theme that's kind of running through them at the moment. Oh, cute. This one is, I think this one's meant to be like, um, candy floss so I absolutely love candy floss the white candy floss is my favorite this one looks like it's kind of like got an eerie green glow to them this one as well is the first one that's got like a hole at the bottom so I'm guessing you could probably stick this one on top of a pencil or something if you wanted to the main part of the body is green and they have well I'm not sure if these are meant to be sort of like fluffy arms but to me they almost look like pixie ears like when I saw it I thought it was a pixie so I think I'm going to go for the fact that they're pixie ears she has very big feet they almost look like it could be a ski or something um, and she has a very cute face this one's face is a lot bigger compared to the other ones um, and she has very nice like little chubby cheeks and I like this little stick that's coming out I think this is kind of meant to sort of go this way around as if it's sort of a cone of candy floss so now we're on to the last of the three boxes which I bought cute this one is like your classic looking sweet and this is the first thing I saw a little spider web so again it does have the face and details on the front she's got little shoes little arms um, and then your classic kind of like little sweetie shape with the kind of roughly bits on the side and then I also love this kind of little back tattoo she's got of a spider web of her colors she's definitely very Halloweeny I feel like except from this candy apple they have been kind of a little bit more like general sweet looking but I feel like these guys are definitely kind of Halloween sweets and the last one well it's not a repeat this one is a little lollipop so she has quite a similar sort of look to the candy apple, but she's a little bit more on a slant. I feel like these two would be like the perfect couple. She's more of like a lollipop um, and her sticks kind of coming off to the side. Again, she's got little feet, um, little arms, and she's got a cute little winky face. The detail as well goes all the way around. She doesn't have a hole or anything, so I think she's more of like a display sort of one. Again, she's not like overly Halloween-y, but it's really obvious to see what she is. So these were the six Shopkins which I got from my three pumpkins. Um, I'm really pleased with like the detail of them. They are really tiny and really dinky and I feel like they could probably be used within little craft projects. I know these are aimed at children and they're like a really big thing at the moment. This lady literally elbowed me out the way so that she could grab one of these pumpkins. So like I think they are definitely a, like a very sought after thing within the children's society. Um, but I thought it'd be quite a fun little thing to add just because it is after all a Halloween product which you can find. As I said, I did find these in Sainsbury's. I haven't seen them anywhere else. I wasn't even aware you could get them in England. So there you go, Sainsbury's to the rescue. Um, overall, I like the two orange ones most just because they are definitely very Halloween-y. I still have no idea what this guy is meant to be, so if anyone of you have an idea, please do leave it down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please do let me know. I have wanted to do kind of like blind unboxing videos for a while, so I thought I'd just test it out with these little pumpkins. So if you guys are interested in seeing any more of this star video, please do let me know. I hope you're having a spectacular October. If it's sunny where you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade, and I will see you next time. Bye!